Welcome back to my channel, guys. So today we got some amazing news concerning the SD2 SNES flash cart for the Super Nintendo. The SD2 SNES is definitely the premier flash cart for the system. The flash cart of choice for many people. And I know there's going to be somebody out there that says, hey, that flash cart's way too expensive, whatever. But with the compatibility we get and the progress that has been made on this device, I think the money is well spent. So yeah, it's a $200 device, but I think you get what you pay for. You know, recently we got FX chip support implemented. You know, you get to play that Star Fox, Star Fox 2, Yoshi's Island, all that great stuff. And then also we got SA1. Hey, Super Mario RPG, what more can I say? So definitely the compatibility is very high up there. You know, we're at like 99.99% .99 compatibility with the games for this device. And I think it's simply amazing. So now we have a new feature that I think is gonna be a welcome addition for many people. And that is save states. Typically relegated to the world of emulation, sure, there are flashcards for other systems that have this feature, but it wasn't a feature that many people thought was gonna be possible with the way the SD2 SNES works. So, a guy by the name of Justin, I don't wanna say his last name just in case he didn't want me to put it out there, uh, he gave me the heads up on this and I hadn't really seen any talk of it. So I asked to find out who was credited with this feature and he dug into it to make sure the information was correct. And he got back to me on that and it turns out Furious, which that name may seem familiar. Uh, he's a Brazilian Super Mario World record holder. I've checked out his YouTube channel. He's got a lot of cool stuff going on. Uh, Red Guy is also credited. Uh, Red Guy, you know, did uh, save state work via USB. And this feature actually uses the SD card, saves to the SD card. So this is an all-in-one feature that you don't have to do anything else. There's there's no workarounds or anything wonky you have to do. Um, and Furious, also a friend of his, uh, I'm probably going to say his name incorrectly, uh, Vitor Vilea. He helped out with some assembly code stuff and whatnot to get this rolling. So this feature right now, pretty cool stuff, man is kind of, you know, in a testing phase, I guess. There's some caveats to it, and we're going to take a look at that and see how it works and just show it in action. So on our 2SNES here, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Go into the menu, System Information. We are on firmware version 1.8.0-FRS-V8. Features DSU, which is the FX chip, SA1, and save states. Sweet, right? So... If you go into configuration, you're gonna have some new options here in game settings. So you're gonna have in-game save states. Default, when I first put this firmware on, it was off. Uh, so you wanna turn that on if you wanna use that feature. Um, save state slots. This is an interesting one where it's off by default, but if you turn it on, you wind up getting four different save state slots. And the way you would use that is you would select which slot by pressing the select button and a direction on the d-pad so you'll have four of them up down left and right for me i am currently using the analog super nt and that kind of uh messes with with the you know the the my little hotkeys that i have set up for the super nt so i'm just leaving it off for now but if you're playing on original hardware you you could have the save state slots on and it's not an issue um, even on the super nt because you can always change what your your hotkeys are for resetting or going to the menu, all that kind of stuff. So it's not a big deal, but I'm just going to leave it off for now. Load delay, another little added feature here. So pretty much when the save state is loaded, uh, you know, everything just loads up pretty, pretty much instantly. There's a few little things that I'm going to showcase in a moment so you understand what you're actually getting into. But you can change how many frames of delay there are between when you load the state. I guess you could use that for certain things, but for me it's not that big of a deal. So let's just go ahead and get into a game and kind of showcase this in action and just, you know, kind of give you a heads up of what, what we're dealing with. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into a level here and just demonstrate the feature in action. So while we're doing that, I'm just gonna kind of explain a few things. So this feature, there, there's going to be a default button combination that can be used. 
Um, but you can set up per game to have different, you know, button combinations if you so choose. And there's going to be configuration files that you can mess with that. It's not something that's implemented into the menu system or anything. So it is something you'll have to figure out if you want to mess with that. But if you don't want to mess with it, you, you don't have to. So we're going to go ahead and quickly get to the end of the, the stage here because I think this shows the feature best and the you know the one little issue that you can come across so what happens is is as you're playing a stage you can you can hear you know we have some background music playing our sound effects and whatnot sound effects no issue but what happens is is not when you save a state but when you load the state whatever stage you're in with whatever music is playing um once you load it, it's just going to continue playing that same music. So this could be a concern for some, but I think it's really not a big deal. So let's go ahead and save our state. And you see the screen just flashed really quickly. And that shows that the save state was saved to the SD card. So let's go ahead and go to a different stage that has uh, very different music. And you'll get to see what I'm talking about. So we saved our state in the first level. And now we're going to go swimming in the first water stage. And as you see, we have some distinct music for this stage. So let's go ahead and load our state. So we loaded right back in the stage one, and it's still playing the water level music. So that's the one issue here. Um, and I don't think it's going to be that big a deal because the way I demonstrated this, I don't think is the way people are going to utilize save states anyway. Typically with save states, you you know, it's going to be like a tough area or something in the game for you. And you're going to load a, you're going to save state, uh, you know, where there's not a checkpoint or something like that. And then if you, you mess up, you're going to, you're going to go ahead and, and load that back up so you can retry. So there we saved our state, we loaded our state, and it's just playing the same music from this stage, so I don't think it's that big of an issue. But the other thing is you may have seen when we uh, did the save state and load state test a minute ago, is that once you transition to a, either another screen, another part of the level, or just any kind of transition where the music changes, it'll instantly load up the correct music. So I don't think it's necessarily a big deal. Uh, you know, not for a lot of people anyway. It shouldn't be. Let's go ahead and, oh man. Let's go ahead and try that again. Um, but like I said, I don't think it's gonna be a huge deal for people with that. But as you see, you know, the way we did that, we transitioned to the, to the stage select and we loaded right back into the stage, so it's playing the uh, the stage select music instead. But as soon as we transition, the music will go right back. I don't know if this is going to be something that gets fixed in a future version of this, but it is just you know a test firmware at the moment, so there may be some issues here and there. It's kind of like use at your own risk. I haven't had anything crazy happen so far. I've been testing this feature for a few hours over the past couple days. And I've only had one problem, and it might have been kind of self-inflicted. And that was, um, I kept uh, save state and load, you know, I just kept doing it over and over again, saving and loading. And I think after doing it like four or five times, uh, maybe a couple more than that, somewhere around there, uh, the game froze on me. And I've not had that experience with just normal usage of loading states. So I think it was just kind of a freak type thing that, just, you know, I was kind of pushing it to its limit and it just kind of screwed up. So only happened once I reset the game and everything worked out fine after that. So it really wasn't even that big of a deal for me. But definitely uh, something to note. It is being tested. I don't know if this music thing is going to be able to be fixed. Um, but the other, the other big thing that I think I may have not mentioned yet is that this feature does not work with special chip games um from what i understand there's you know something specific with the the way the fpga is accessed with the special chip games that it just it does not this feature just does not work with special chip games so 
I don't know, maybe in the future that, that could be implemented. Uh, you know, so much stuff that nobody thought was going to happen has happened, so who knows? We'll have to wait and see what the future holds for this device. Right now, you know, with where it's at and how everything works, I'm extremely happy. I'm glad that I purchased the SD2 SNES when I did. It Money well spent for sure. Um, but I really do appreciate you guys stopping in, watching this, hanging out with me for a few minutes of your time. It really means the world to me, guys. So if you could, slap that like button around. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sweet, sweet, sweet love to that notification bell, because that's the only way you'll know that my videos are released. Just the way YouTube works nowadays. I don't know, it's kind of bunk, but it is what it is, guys. And hey, if you want to win a free PlayStation Classic, I'm currently doing a giveaway. Follow me on Twitter at MadLittlePixel. My pinned tweet has all the information there. Why not? Not much effort for the possibility of winning a $100 system. So really do appreciate you guys stopping in. Peace out, bye bye and boom.